In this demonstration, I'm using a vacuum chamber. This vacuum chamber, I have placed two marshmallows inside. Now, marshmallows are colloids. They're air puffed into some kind of sugary polymer that we love to eat. And this hose is connected to a vacuum pump that draws the air out and lowers the pressure by taking molecules of gas out of this container okay the pressure inside drops and the air trapped inside our sad and happy and frightened uh, marshmallow okay is should expand as the pressure drops on the angry okay and scared marshmallow okay the air inside should expand out. So let's do that. Whoa! Something interesting happened. They expanded. Tremendously, the air inside them expanded and pushed the solid outward. But if you notice, there was a they popped a little bit. They popped a little bit because possibly the air was pulled out of the marshmallow. So they're this size right now because of very little air pressure. So if I was to put the air back in because the air was drawn out, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to take the air out unhook this hose here and we should see the actual size so low we increased decreased the pressure the volume got bigger keeping temperature and number of molecules constant in the uh, marshmallow we lower or increase the pressure by air air coming back in whoa that was a flip I like that one these guys decreased in volume because the air was left there was no air left so whatever air that was left, I guess there was some, okay, their volume decreased. And now what you have is marshmallows that are certainly smaller than the original size because the air has been drawn out of them. And to give you a little comparison of what they were before, okay, let's put these here. And this was exactly the same size. So it gives you an idea in a regular full-size marshmallow how much air was responsible for the volume. So it looks like to me almost twice the volume, if not more, was due to just air inside this polymer. And all we did was lower the pressure. You saw the polymer expand. Okay, Boyle's Law states as the pressure decreases, the volume of a ideal gas will expand as long as temperature, okay, and number of moles stays constant. And you can clearly see that more than twice the volume of your marshmallow is just due to air. Now the air, if you notice, popped because the air left. And once it popped, they shrunk. Okay, great example of Boyle's Law.